Chakra is our latest superhero creation, and in the same way our guiding mission at Graphic India is in the same way that America defined the superhero, you know, Japan has launched anime, we think India is now at the time where we should really be launching global character franchises that captivate audiences from Boston to Beijing to Bangalore. And Chakra the Invincible is one of our first big superheroes that we've launched with the co-creator of Spider-Man, X-Men, Hulk, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, the legendary Stan Lee. So this is his first superhero for the Indian market. Uh, it tells the story of a young boy named Raju Rai who creates essentially an Iron Man type suit that activates the chakras of the body. So essentially science meets spirituality, East meets West, really a character that we, we are convinced will, will resonate not only in India but really with audiences everywhere. We launched it on Cartoon Network in November of last year uh, and we are now announcing uh, this week that we're going to be announcing it and launching it on Rovio's Toons TV which is a global platform all across Angry Birds so everyone who has Angry Birds around it downloaded over the 2 billion people who have downloaded the app around the world will get to experience Chakra through that app. So it's probably one of the largest distributions for an Indian-based character entertainment property to really go on a global level. I think animation is a medium like every other medium, and it's a, it's a place we can tell great stories. We often don't say we're in the animation business or in the comic book business. We're really in the storytelling business. And storytelling, by nature, is about how do you captivate people using all of these tools. It could be animation, it could be a live-action feature film, but all of those are tools by which you want to express the story. So at the forefront, it's how do you create compelling characters, create compelling stories, and really let everything else really drive around that. Well, I think that no matter what, we have to find our own voice in the creative landscape of the global conversation. I think uh, you know what we're doing, for example, the story that we just told, we have another digital web series we launched, which we're developing as a live action television series as well, called 18 Days. And 18 Days is the story of the Mahabharata retold. And you know, to us, it's as complex, as mythic, as huge in storytelling as most of the Greek myths we've seen from Clash of the Titans and the Immortals to shows like Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. You know, it really has that same mythic sensibility, but a very different worldview, because it deals with the nuances of of the gray. The characters are very complex. And, you know, the Mahabharata has been there for thousands of years because of that rich tapestry of the characters and stories. So our view is in the execution of it, can we now take it to a global level? You know, in a world that's been used to seeing 300 Rise of the Empire, which just came out, and seeing all these Greek stories, we think the mythic stories we're sitting in our vault should be captivating audiences in the same way. There's no reason it can't.